Kylian Mbappe won the World Cup at age 17. Derek Rose became MVP at age 22. Nadia Comaneci received a perfect score at age 14. And Tade Pogaccia won the Tour de France at age 21. What do they have in common? Well, they were all wonder kids. In professional cycling, it seems like riders are getting younger and younger, and that is true. We're seeing riders jump up into the world tour and top tier result sheets from an early age, with some even doing it in their teenage years. All in all, the parameters of cycling careers is changing drastically. The future is young, and there are plenty of young talents bursting through the ranks. Whilst we prepare ourselves for the reality of a 21st century Grand Tour winner in the years to come, in this video we will be looking at five of cycling's best wonder kids. To make this list, the riders had to be born within the 21st century and be on the UCI World Tour. Also, we take the liberty of removing Remco Avenepoel from this list because, well, you all know about him already. So, without further ado, let's dive into number five, Kian Eutebrooks. The first rider on our list is also the youngest, it's 19 year old Kian Eudebrooks. From the Flemish Wallonian border, Kian began cycling on dirt tracks in his backyard. From there, he soon found himself at the top 10 of the under 18 ranks in his native Belgium. The youngster began the year, in fact, as the youngest rider on the UCI World Tour level after having moved to Bora Hansgrohe in the winter. The Belgian naturally has already been touted as the next Remco Evenepoel, or even the next Eddie Merckx, following an illustrious rise to fame over the past two years. In his first season with Bora Hansgrohe, he has been riding plenty of big races, such as Amstel Gold Race, Tour of the Alps, Tour of Norway and the Sibiu Tour, the latter of which he finished on the podium. Later this year, Eudebrooks lived up to the hype to seal the overall victory at the Junior Tour de France, the Tour de l'Avenir. By winning this race, Kian became the youngest winner of that race in its history. With the world ahead of him, Kian Eudebrooks is something to behold. Number 4. Magnus Sheffield Next on the list is the sensational American Magnus Sheffield. This 20-year-old from Pittsford, New York has enjoyed a wonderful debut season at the UCI World Tour level with Ineos Grenadiers. A skier in his childhood, Sheffield made the transition to cycling in his teenage years. Sheffield made a splash after climbing onto the podium at the 2019 World Championships after the USA wiped the road clean. Sheffield, still 19 at the time, managed to win Stage 3 at the Vuelta Andalucía and went on to win Hilly Cobble Classic, the Brabantse Pale, this spring. From here, he claimed a sixth place overall at the Tour of Norway before missing out on the top prize at the USA National Time Trial Championships by four seconds, before missing out on the top prize at the American Time Trial Championships by four seconds to Texan Lawson Craddock. Magnus Sheffield continued his success in Scandinavia as he sailed to victory in the time trial stage of the Tour of Denmark before finishing second overall, only four seconds behind Christophe Laporte due to bonus seconds. As a real all-rounder, Sheffield's future looks bright as he aims to bring the USA their next big classic victory. Number three, Arno de Lee. There are very few riders on the World Tour who have enjoyed as many victories this season as Belgium's Arno de Lee. At the age of just 19, Arno de Lee was already taking big sprint wins in Spain and Belgium this winter. Deeper into the calendar, the Wallonian was sweeping up wins. There were few sprinters that De Lee hadn't beaten once we got to the end of springtime. Even up until the end of summer, De Lee was still proving strong, toppling Arno Demar at the Echmont Classic in Zottichem. As of the time of recording, in fact, De Lee has taken a total of nine professional wins this year. That is quite remarkable. The sprinting world is brutal and macho. It could often be hard to stand out at such a young age. For De Lee, he has been commanding strong support from his Lotto Sudal squad in the quest to slay more of the world's strongest sprinters. From Nizzolo to Bennett to Germain, and Cavendish, De Lee has beaten them all in a bunch gallop this year. As Lotto Sudal's biggest UCI point scorer as well this year, the bull as he's known is quite the talent. Number 2. Carlos Rodriguez It's time to talk about the oldest rider on this list, it's the dinosaur Carlos Rodriguez. Born in February 2001, Rodriguez is another Ineos Grenadiers wonder kid. The Spaniard has been on contract for several years at Ineos, but he's been bursting through the ranks in the past 12 months. Ever since he took second place at the 2021 Tour de l'Avenir, the junior Tour de France, the 21-year-old has sealed a number of top 10s in stage race GCs. Third place in Valencia, fourth at Andalucía, fourth at Burgos, and second at Occitanie. Carlos Rodriguez is popping through to the top level of cycling. The cherry on top of the cake as well, he's national road race champion of Spain. During the ongoing Vuelta a España, which by the way hasn't finished yet as of the time of recording, Rodriguez has been guiding Ineos into a secure top 10. In the years to come, Rodriguez will be eyeing up Grand Tour success in order to become Spain's first Grand Tour winner since 2015. Will they be able to do that, or will another wonder kid steal the limelight? Speaking of which, it's time to talk about number one, Juan Ayuso. 
Born in September 2003, Ayuso became one of the most renowned wonder kids of this generation. This reputation has been rewarded with the longest contract in professional cycling. This means that Ayuso has contracted with UAE Team Emirates until, wait for it, 2028. What has Juan done to give him this contract? Well, the Spaniard obliterated the field at the 2021 Baby Giro. There he dominated the mountain and hill stages, setting times that were rivaling the seniors at the age of just 18. Later that year, he found himself on the podium at the European Championships as well as the Villafranca Classic with the seniors. In 2022, Ayuso hit the ground running, top fives in the early season classics and a fifth place at the UCI World Tour level Tour of Catalonia, as well as a fourth place at the Tour of Romandy. This summer, Ayuso claimed his first senior victory as well at the Circuito de Quecho up in the Basque Country. However, Ayuso is currently making a big splash at the Vuelta a España, which once again is ongoing as of the time of recording. Here, Ayuso has been piloting UAE Team Emirates to a top five. In similar fashion to a certain Tadej Pogacar in 2019, Ayuso is making a big impression in his first senior Grand Tour. With UAE Team Emirates' stacked team of GC riders, Ayuso has been doing well to stand out. However, can he rival UAE's frontman Tadej Pogacar? We'll have to wait and see. Also, listen up, United States of America. Feel free to claim Juan Ayuso. He spent a number of years in his childhood in Atlanta, Georgia. So on top of being one of cycling's most lucrative wonder kids, he's also one of y'all. Well, that draws an entire list of cycling's top five wonder kids. If you think we've missed anybody out, please let us know down in the comment section below and maybe we'll come back later in the season to tell you about five more young talents. Also, if you're wanting to know more about Kian Edebrecht and Hanayuso, who are on this list, we profiled them individually here in the Cycling Dane, so check out those videos as well. So, that's all from us today. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you around.